During this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom page right inside of InstaBuilder starting from scratch. So here I am on the dashboard right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new page up here. And you know sometimes these templates they're great, but sometimes they just don't fit what you really need. So we have a button down here that says create from scratch. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see that we get presented with a blank canvas that is ready for us to go ahead and customize and edit to our likings. So what you can do is you can go ahead and just start dragging and dropping all these different elements over here on your blank canvas and customizing it the way that you want it to look. So perhaps you can start with a title element here. We can edit this with a little pencil and center that text there. Then maybe after that you want to add you know, a video element. You can do that just like that there. Maybe you want to add some main benefits below your video so we can do that here. We can add maybe three columns of text here by simply clicking the little plus symbol to add a new column of text. Now for our main bullet points here, I can add, you know, another title. Let's shrink this text a little bit because that's too big. That's too big for our column. So let's shrink that a little bit. Then maybe center that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that text again. I'm going to click on the duplicate feature here. I'm going to duplicate my title. And now I'm going to click, I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Duplicate it, drag it over here. Then maybe I want to add an image for each of my bullet points so I can do that. That's a little bit too big, so maybe we can go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. Maybe something like that there, and I can duplicate that. Then drag it over there, just like so. All right, now that I'm done with that three columns, maybe I want to add some more, inf you know, some more information below here. So I'm going to add a new section by clicking and dragging the section, just like that there. And now we have even more space and more canvas room that we can work with. So again, I can start all over again by dragging, you know, a button down here just like that. I can make this button bigger if I want. I can make it stretch across the whole thing here, just like that. And what you're gonna notice is our background here is also gray and our page isn't really full, our content's not full width, okay? So if you don't like that and you want full width content, we can do that as well. But first, let's say you wanted to change this gray background back here. We can go to our page settings up here click on page settings. We can go to background color and then we can change the background color to whatever we want. Or we can even use a background image or a background video. And for the images, we can upload our own image. We can search for images or we can use a pre-made image. So I'm going to keep mine a color right now. Let's make it, let's see, black. Let's go with black like that there. And then I can go back to adding more content to my page here, you know, images, text, you know, titles, you know, a countdown timer if I wanted to, whatever I want, okay? But perhaps you don't want a fixed width column like this. Maybe you want a full width column. So we can do that as well. What we can do here is I'm gonna go back and you wanna make sure you do this before you actually start creating your page. So I'm gonna delete these elements that we have here. Let's get rid of these. And now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to choose a wide section. Instead of a regular section, we want a wide section. I'm gonna click. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drop it just like that. Okay. Now we can see that this takes up the entire page instead of just a little box in the middle of the page. Now we can also come in here. We can customize the color of this as well. Let's keep it white for now. And I come back here and I can go back to adding my title and my video. Now let's say that I wanted a buy button below this video, but I wanted it on its own section so that I can change the color. So what we can do here is I can drag another wide section in here, just like that there. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna to go to the gear symbol. I'm going to change the background color to maybe a reddish one. Maybe something like that, we're gonna go back. Now I can go over here, I can add a button to my new section. And of course we can edit the way this button looks and make it look a lot better. We can go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, just like that here, make it the size of the video. And to kind of get this button off the top there, because it looks kind of weird smashed against the top there, we can click on the background here, the red background. We can go to the gear symbol. We can go to the margin and the padding, and we can just add a top padding here, and that's going to push the button down a little bit. So you can do that as far as you would like, however far you want that button down. You know, maybe something like that there. We'll go 39, sure. Then we can click on the red background again, and we can kind of drag it and shrink it as much as we want here. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Now, obviously I would go in here and I'll make this button look a whole lot better than it does right now because right now it doesn't look good at all in this red background, but we can go in there and we can customize that any way that we want to. 
Now again, after this little section here, we can go up here, we can add another wide section. We can keep this one white and then we can go back to adding, you know, more content that is related to our video here, more of a sales pitch. Go ahead and center that text there, make it look decent. We can now add some columns just like this here. Maybe we wanna add three columns for bullet points like we did earlier and just kind of go through and do a whole bunch of dragging and dropping and customizing it the way that we want it to look. So if you don't like any of the templates that we have for you on InstaBuilder, feel free to create your own page just like this. And you can even create your own template. And when you have something created that you like, you can go up here to the far right hand corner, this little drop down arrow, click on that, and you can save this as a template as well. And it will now be saved with the rest of the templates. And you can come back and bring this up anytime that you would like and customize it for other pages as well. And that's just how simple it is to create your own web pages from scratch inside of InstaBuilder 2.0.